Good morning. Barry is going to show you how to get your scooter inside of your vehicle. If you come to Orlando, yeah, here's the car. You fold the seat in half. There's a little lever and it pumps straight off. Ta-da! The basket comes off. You just pull it straight up. That's no biggie. That lid comes off. It's like Velcroed on. Strip right there. Yeah, there's just Velcro strips. It's no big, no biggie for that either. There is a strap that goes across the two batteries. You just unlatch it. The batteries are plugged in. Let me show how they're plugged in. They're right there. Yeah, so you, when you reattach it, you just put white to white, black to black. You pull the batteries off. Then you pull the, the handle back off. You just unscrew it and it comes I flat. I haven't figured out how to keep it from the ring. I don't think you can. And then you just lift up on this little thing right here simply and the back end comes off now that's the heaviest part this is the heaviest so yeah. use your make sure it's locked yeah make sure it's locked so it doesn't roll around and this is the biggest part biggest but not the heaviest but still the back breaker you still gotta be careful always look at your legs there and then we just take the batteries and just set them in the floorboard. Welcome to the Universal Orlando Parking Structure, also known as the most ridiculously disorganized place I've ever been. It's worse than the TSA. You do not, you do not know what you're getting into every, every day you come here. Every hour you come here, it's, com it's set up completely differently, yeah. and they look at you like, "How come you don't get this? How come you don't know what you're doing." So sometimes we come through this one, and sometimes we go through another one. And sometimes there's a guy directing traffic and sometimes there's not. Sometimes so. And sometimes they tell you to go somewhere and you go down this road and it ends up being a ramp to the interstate. And you're like, what? And then you have to do a U-turn, but there's nobody there to direct you to do the U-turn. There, there, there's some yellow cones and you're just supposed to know, oh, this is where I turn. It is so convoluted. So good luck because you're going to need it. And then if you have an annual pass, which I do recommend because it's a lot cheaper. If you get the, what is, what do we have? The preferred one, it comes with free parking. Preferred, yeah. And preferred gets, the, the, you get the, yeah. Parking is $26 a day, which is ridiculous. So you'll make your money back by getting the annual pass. And then you'll be able to park hop all day long. Yep. No problem. Just bounce, bounce, bounce. Three parts, not even just two, all three of them. Bounce, 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 bounce. So, I do recommend the annual pass. And you can even pay for just half of it and then do a <laughs> payment plan the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. 
Well, prime parking is fifty dollars. Yeah, prime parking is special. And then after six p.m. is free. Yeah. Although the parks close at seven. Well, you can go to <laughs> but City you can go Walk. To City Walk till midnight. So yeah, they're it's trying worth to. It. It's worth it. They're yeah. trying to encourage you to go to City Walk. One nice thing about City Walk, I don't know if this is true of Disney Springs, because we haven't been there in a hundred years. But you do have to go through security before you get to City Walk, not just before you get into the parks. So a slight sense of security, smaller sense yeah. of security, hanging out. Now so far so far at City Walk we've eaten at two places that were good. Mm -hmm. um, oh one that was excellent. One that's excellent. It's called the cowfish and it sounds stupid. It's awesome though. But it is like the most like awesome. The cowfish is a real creature. Bas though. basically they have burgers and they have sushi and then they have a sushi that's made out of a hamburger. <laughs> Your choice. And it's all fantastic. And it's all fantastic. And the service is good too. Oh yes. And we ate at Bob Marley's. Bob I, Marley's was awesome. Food is awesome. I recommend going late so that you can actually hear the live music. Yeah. We missed that and I'm a little we disappointed. Watched, we got to watch him set up at five o'clock. Yeah. Hard rock, botulism. Hard rock. <laughs> the botulism cafe. The botulism cafe. <laughs> Hard luck cafe. That's Hard luck cafe. <laughs> Um, yeah. and, then our, and then our favorite was Margaritaville. That, we love Jimmy. We love everything about Parrothead life. And uh, man, that restaurant just, it was just terrible. Terrible last night. Service and, and atmosphere. I mean, if food, you. Food, especially. And I've food. eaten at this restaurant for 22 years. And I've eaten at many Margaritaville restaurants yeah, around the world. And they're all great. Yeah. But this one had. A twenty-two dollar margarita. Yeah, They've jacked it up. It was fourteen. Well, was, one was fourteen, but the other one was twenty-two. The one I wanted was like fourteen dollars. I'm, I'm just not going to do it. I'm it's just it. too much for a drink. I can go home and make now, that for. Now, to be fair, it was also fourteen dollars for margarita, the cowfish, but. That's still, true. Still, I'm, just, I didn't buy still, one there either. I didn't get one there either. Exactly. I'm not paying more than ten dollars for a drink, even yeah. on vacation. But all I really wanted at Margaritaville last night was a little, a little meal and a and a big drink, and that, like, an appetizer and a and, and a margarita would have been like forty dollars just for me. Yeah. They're close to thirty-five, forty dollars somewhere there. Now we had a reservation, and on the reservation it said anniversary and no one cared. No one cared. Didn't didn't acknowledge. So it, we we know. checked in and. They were like, okay, well, we'll text you where to go when your table's ready. And, like, it took a half hour to get a table. And, and we showed up a half hour before our, before our time, too. And it was still after after, after our time. After our time, yeah. And then another 20 minutes before they came and acknowledged us. Yeah, people just walked right past us, all these servers. And they were making eye contact with me. And I was making eye contact with them, like, hey, help. And not, I mean, the other servers, I know I wasn't their table, but they could have been like, hey, let me go get your server or yeah. just something. And it was just. Call me a freaking bone. And then when we got the food, it was nasty. And it, it wasn't nasty, it was nasty. Nasty. It was dried out. It, it had been sitting there for a while. Yeah. I'm going to turn this off so this lady. So here's your parking garage and they're going to tell you where to park and it's going to be a nightmare it might be okay so we are in spider-man purple it'll give you a number and the best thing for you to do is to take a photo with your phone of remember. where you're of where you're parked because at the end of the day you will not remember and this garage is huge and you will it will take you an hour to find your car oh unless you do the way the uh those delightful that delightful family did last night they just set their car car alarm off for 15 minutes straight until, until they, they found their okay. car but it's gonna be hard to hear your alarm sound when everybody else is also sounding so Instead of remembering where they park, they just set their alarm off on their just So that's fun. Forget the comfort and the sanity of everyone else around you. Good times. A bunch of spots right there. Not getting them because A, no one's directing. 
B, they're just all standing in their spot, those spots. Mm -hmm. No one is allowed to park next to us. We're special. Okay, you know what? I'm parking right here. Okay. Well, go ahead and do it. Yeah, I'm parking right here. Because I need the back end for the yeah. scooter. Okay. Ta-da. Yeah. <gasps> Oops. This is the tricky part. It helps if you have two people, but you can do it with just one. There you go. It got in there. So you put the batteries back in here. You're gonna plug them in. That. You see there's a black and a white, mm -hmm. and there's a black and a white. Up. It don't matter which one goes which. Okay, strap. Yep, strap them on. And the basket. The basket's kind of ratchet, but you just, it just hangs on there. It's not even. There we go. Okay, the, mo the most important part though is this thing in the back. You have to make sure it's in which yes. position? This. Back position. Like no. Yes. Like Otherwise, you're not going anywhere. I'm not even sure why the forward position is there because you can't do anything with it. Okay. So I have my keys actually with a little lock. That way I don't lose it. And it just hangs off my lanyard. Simply, not oh. that way. And you turn it. Okay, shall we demonstrate what happens if you have that in the forward position? Yeah. Now, if you have it messed up. All right. Show the show it down here. So if you screw up and you, you have do it, it wrong, you have it like that. And forward. And you turn the key on. You turn it on. It, it's gonna do that. It's not gonna let you go. It's not gonna move. You're just gonna get that. So, Turn it on. correct it. Yay! Now it works. Now it's gonna move.
<laughs> oh no. Let's do this. My first family, we're gonna come on over. 